My name is Inouye Adams and my background is in um, graphic design and visual art stuff, but also in poetry, in literature, um, in playwriting, in theatre, in little bits of short story writing. And, but everything kind of stems from poetry. Um, I was born in Jos, in Plateau State, in Nigeria in 1984, which is the first year that astronauts made the first untethered spacewalk, like the first time someone was unconnected from the planet and gravity. I think, I don't believe in star science, but I believe in that, that somehow that has configured the way I think about myself and the way I create work. Inu is a very inspiring and exciting artist to work with because he has lots of skills in different areas. He's a fantastic wordsmith and writes really beautiful poetry um, and writes dramatically for theatre. Um, but he's also a fantastically charismatic performer um, and able to bring some real physical skill to what he does. Um, he also has a real passion and interest in graphic design, which comes through in this performance, Black T-shirt Collection, um, where he uses animation um, alongside the physical performance. If you are what you say, a nightclub, eight years after that, the boys have blossomed to beautiful black men. Matthew is quiet, the typical artist, t-shirt designer, all pencils and pens. And Mohammed is charismatic, the salesman. Print by print, stitch by stitch, in nightclubs or markets, hawking their teas. Free ones to kids and celebrities. The rapper wore one on the cover of an album, and that was it. Money rolling in. Black T-shirt collection is um, a story about two brothers um, who set up uh, a T-shirt business in Nigeria, and um, they are um, kind of cheeky entrepreneurial teenagers trying to make a bit of money, and they set up this business to do that, and it becomes um, a huge uh, global phenomenon. It's my biggest play, and it's it's um, I'm, and by size I mean by the scale of it and where it goes in terms of the, the narrative arc and where the story in terms of the country and, and how it gets there. But essentially it's, it's pro poss possibly my most personal because it's about um, religious and sectarian violence in Nigeria which is growing increasingly. It's about homosexuality in Nigeria. Friends of mine who are African have told me stories of really dark things that happened. It's also about um, friendship and about um, how the world happens to people. If you had asked Mohammed his first thoughts, <clears throat> he'd have talked of a night in Soho, the first time he saw two men hug, pull back, kiss each other's eyes before their lips touched, clutched so tightly as if all the world had paused for them. Mohammed dived into this world as though he had an uncultured tongue and London held the taste of the planet. He dated like men were going out of fashion. <laughs> there are three themes that seem to come up in, in all my work. Identity, displacement, and destiny. And destiny could be a religious destiny or just a simple journey from leaving work and going home or, or trying to navigate your way through a city from one place to another. Um, displacement, I'm an immigrant, um, and I think that really colors the way I look at society and attempt to find a place within it. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm tired of ticking boxes. I'm gay, I'm an expat, I'm an African, I'm a black African, I'm Nigerian, I'm Muslim, I'm Hausa, I'm this one, I'm that one. Journalists asking stupid questions. What's it like to be? I don't know, I don't know. I just, I just want to be a man again. I was told that there are a bunch of um, fans that I have in, um, in Newcastle who come to my work, and th these are young blind girls who come to my work and love to listen to it because they can see the whole story and, and, and they engage with it on a purely oral level but also a visual one and because they populate the story with their own imaginations. And I think my work works on that level but also because of the things I try to pack into my stories, it can be very political or very personal or, or very, um, very honest and very individual as well. And also because of the spoken word element and the use of hip hop lyricism which runs through my work, it also touches 
like urban youth as well. But because of my influence from um, like classic poetry, all it goes all the way up and all the way back, the social spectrum and everything. Um, I don't know, I think I try to do small things clearly and because, and it's, it's, it's how I like to think about straight lines, they are everywhere and I try to write straight lines.